Well, me and Jack are on a mission. She said, I gotta go to the bathroom. More knives for Wednesday morning. We gotta go pick up some. Sound like mostly uh, pocket knives. Bench maids and a uh, Marine Corps. I'm not sure. I won't know till I get there. Stand by. It's a uh, shade after 10. Low tides at 4.30. The land of Nala. Well, it appears I have created a monster in this knife sharpening. I might have to, it's like a real job now. Look in there. You can't see what's down there. All you can see is a block with a bunch of nice Victor Knox knives in it. And then on the other side, there's a gathering of knives. I haven't even counted them, I got so many. Unbelievable. A few people were asking what this light does on my dashboard. That's a check engine light. I have a bad, uh, what do you call that thing? Catalytic converter, I think. That's what the code reads. Once I reset it, Danny's reset it twice for me. It always stays off a couple of days and it comes back on. And after about three weeks or a month, it'll go off by itself and stay off for a while. Don't fret everybody, it's just a stop engine, I mean a check engine light. Okay, I'm headed home. True, I'm not headed home. I'm headed to West Marine. I've got to get something. I'll show you what I'm getting and I'll show you what it's for in a little while. I've been having some difficulties with my headphones. My Scully's from uh, Joe Beachnut. Not the headphones, but the goddamn gel ear pads I've been trying to add to them. Or I have added. I did add. <laughs> Stand by. This stuff will fix anything. Comes in white or black. And it comes in a smaller tube as well. This is uh, three ounces. But the smaller tube they only had in white. And I wanted the dark. And you'll see why in a few minutes. I'll have to set the CTX off the side for a day or two while this cures. Like I said, it's not going on the CTX, it's going on the headphones. The gel ear pads actually. The one gel ear pad. Okay, here's what the 5200 is for. This is an off-brand gel ear pad. I forget who I got them from. But they do not come with an adhesive back. So I've hot glued this on three times now, and it always comes off after four or five days. I just hot glue it to the outside of this earmuff. This is the original uh, 3M gel ear pad, and when you get it, it has a adhesive back that you peel off, and it'll most stick to everything. I stuck some hot glue on it just in case, but it's been on there since I got these, and I don't know how long I've had them, but at least a month, and they're holding up fine with the adhesive that comes on them. But these babies have been a pain in my rear end. I hope to uh, eradicate that problem today with the 5200. Stand by. That's how I apply it. We got two Hampton Forge. We got one Chicago Cutlery. We got five Forsters, Porchesters from Victor Knox. We have a 40 year old case. I think it's a case. American Wildlife, it says. It's got a little rust here now. We'll clean that up. The front part of the blade is serrated. I didn't see that right there. You probably can't see it, but I'll have a better picture of it. And then. We have a knife similar to mine, it's a 551. I think mine is a 550, I can't remember what mine is. Not too bad shape. We got a Swiss Army knife, I think it's got two blades on it. We have an old case, double X. I have the exact same knife, I think. Mine might be a smidgen shorter. And then we have one just like we did yesterday. 
the one I think the one we did yesterday was 140. This is a 141 with the Tadant. Uh, I can't even say it. Tadant. Tanto. Tanto. With the blade, you know, tips up like that. She's been cutting some sticky stuff with it. There's a lot of sticky stuff on the blade. I have to clean that up so. Okay, let's see what's in this uh, block here. Stand by. Okay, the box got a big chef's knife, got a little boner, got a probably an eight inch serrated knife, which is in a nice slicer. Victor Knox and a little para. Victor Knox makes some really nice slicers. You know that guy in Savannah did those fish nails, those fish skin and knives, well they were Victor Knox, but they had the dimples along the side. This is probably his roast beef knife, steak knife. It's pretty sharp. I just have to do a little tune-up on her, I think. She's, she's, yeah, she's in pretty good shape. It's a ready one. It looks, uh... Looks the same way. Pretty sharp. Okay. Stand by. Well, I got some good news and some bad news. The good news, the bad news is, Army's generals have five pointed stars. This is six pointed. I can't be a general in the Army or well, the military. However, in the surf lane, the land and out of the Northern Territory, I'm a six star general. So I still remain General Max to everyone. Cleaned up, shined up, I'm ready to go. I was just waiting for the tide to drop off so I got a two hours to wait, I think. Stand by.